Hello everyone, it's David from Studio One Expert. This time I've got a quick tip video for you. I wanted to show you the macro I use definitely the most often in Studio One. It's a pretty simple macro, it only consists of four commands chained together, but it's a very very useful one. So let's open the macro toolbar and I've created a button here for this macro and I called it loop and play. And since I use it so often I bind it to a key command you can see it here to the letter L. So I don't really need to open the macro toolbar and hit the button. I, I can just hit L to fire up the macro. So what it does is if I select an event and fire the macro, then it automatically sets the loop markers at the end and beginning of the event. It turns the loop on and it starts the playback. So it looks like this. Then I can select this event here, press L again. And I can also do it during playback. I can just select this and go here. Go again here so I don't have to stop the playback. Okay, so far so good. Now what is really cool, it also works if I use the range tail to make a selection. So for example, let's say I just want to edit something here and then draw a range and then press L again and then it loops just this range same here press L again and then I can again select the whole event and so on now let's have a look what uh, commands you need to create this macro yourself let's go to the macro organizer and we have it here, loop and play. Let's click edit. And now you can see the four commands. Actually, you only need three commands. The last one is just optional and up to taste. So, but first you need this command transport loop selection. It uh, basically just loops your selection, as it says. Then you need this command transport play from loop start. This starts the playback. And the command under the transport group toggle loop. Here you have to set a state as 1. If you click here on Edit, Command Arguments, you have to enter 1. This means it turns the loop on. And that's about it. The last one is Edit, Deselect All. The only reason for this is, uh, why I included this, is that, for example, if I draw a selection range here, and if I start now, if I fire off my macro and press L, then as you can see, the loop gets created, but the selection range itself disappears. So if I, do, if I wouldn't have this last command here, edit deselect all, then this selection here would remain like this. So again, this is just a question of taste. I don't like it to be there, so I included this to remove it. Okay, I hope this will be helpful for you guys. I've been David. See you soon. Bye-bye.